In Creo Parametric, when you are working on a sketch, you're going to get constraint snapping. For example, let's start creating some lines. I'll sketch the line over here. You can see it's snapping to horizontal. We just saw briefly that there was an equal lines constraint. And there I can get coincident, so forth and so on when I'm creating my different sketches uh, or entities in the sketch. You see those different constraints in the graphics area. And if you don't want to see them, you can turn them off. Even more importantly, you can turn off the options for those uh, snapping. So for example, if I go to File Options and then Sketcher over here, we have the different assumptions. And let's say that you don't want collinear or equal length, you can turn these off. And if I hover over them, you can see that there is a corresponding config.pro option. And this has been standard behavior in Creo Parametric and Pro Engineer literally for decades. Let's get out of here and go over to a drawing. In Creo Parametric 4.0, they added the same snapping for entities into drawing mode. Uh, let's start off by throwing on some bomb balloons in here. I'll go to the table tab. First off, let's select the table. Oops, let me make sure I'm filter is set to general. Uh, let's select the table. And then I can go to its properties. And here we have the bomb balloons tab. And right now it is using a simple circle. Let's do the quantity split circle and then hit the check mark. Now to create my balloons, I'm going to go to the Create Balloons dropdown. And let's do it by component. I'm going to pick a bunch of the big components over here. I'm holding down the Control key, so I'm getting them. And again, just going to pick a bunch of these ones over here. I don't want to get too many and end up just cluttering up my screen. And click the OK button. So there we have our different bomb balloons. And now I'm going to zoom in and say, let's say I want to change the location of one of these balloons. I will click on it and drag, and you'll see now we have a suggestion of a perpendicular constraint. As I move around here, there I'm getting coincident. So as you move around your bomb balloons, you are going to get the same kind of constraint suggestions as in sketch mode. And again, you can see there I'm getting a perpendicular. And this is for pretty much all the different entities in the sketch. And there you can see that little preview of the perpendicularity. Let's create a note in here as well. Let's go to the annotate tab and then go to the note command. And actually, let me cancel. Oh, there. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I was getting a note with a leader. And let's have just snap onto an edge over here. And I'll middle mouse click to locate it. And for lack of originality, I'm just going to type in note as the text for my note. And let me click off here. Now let's zoom in. And similarly, when I select the note and go to drag it around, there we go. There we see a perpendicular constraint in here as well. And so this enhancement, and I'm saying enhancement in quotes, was added in midstream of Creo Parametric 4.0. Now here's the thing, you can't turn this behavior off. Uh, you just have to deal with it. I have actually put in a suggestion that they add some config.pro options in order to control the behavior of this snapping. Let me jump over to a couple of web pages. First off, if you go to help.ptc.com, you can get to the help information for the various versions of Creo Parametric. And if you go into the what's new for Creo Parametric 4.0, the only indication that I get for this enhancement when it was added is this annotation placement in detailed drawings. It says that the placement of annotations and drawings is enhanced. I've actually gone to community.ptc.com and put in a suggestion for a config option, again, to turn off this snapping behavior. And if you're not involved in the community, I highly recommend that you get involved. Go to community.ptc.com. A lot of times people reach out to me and they'll say, hey, Dave, is PTC ever going to change this particular behavior? And here's the thing about the people who work at PTC. 
they can't read minds. If you want the software to be different, you need to suggest it to them. And I know a lot of the different program managers. They're great people. There's Michael, there's Mark, there's Martin, there's Mark also from the windshield side. They are available and listen to the end users, but you have to meet them halfway. You have to get your suggestions to them. So again, create an account at the community and if Creole Parametric behaves differently than the way that you want it to behave, I highly recommend that you submit an idea and then people will vote on these different ideas and hopefully they'll make it into a later version of Creole Parametric. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.